Hi, welcome to another video brought to you by AutoWave. So in this video, we are going to demonstrate to you how to use a X100 Padelite from Xtool using the KC100 pre-coding device in a 2015 Audi A6. And this is a keyless system. So this uses the, the slightly chunkier key. And in this, we're gonna use the aftermarket AutoWave AUT RK0256. New remote brought to us by AutoWave. So, first of all, as you can see, I've got lock and unlock functioning fine. That's one of the original remotes. This is the other original remote. Lock and unlock functioning fine. And I'll just take this out of my packaging. This one is not coded in. So, you got a start button uh, which is just located just located here uh, and i'll just cover that up because i'm going to put the device back to where it was uh, and i've got a key in my hand i'm going to press the brake and start the uh, start the ignition so ignition started now in this particular vehicle the emergency override for the uh, to start the vehicle is here and we'll be using that to learn the keys in on this system you have to have all keys present in order for you to code them in. If you don't code them in at this stage, then uh, they will be uncoded. You can code them in later, but you do need to learn them all in at the same time. So I've turned the ignition off. I'll go to our menu, which says immobilization. I'll select Audi, agree. We're gonna select by type. Now this is a fifth IMO system. And it says switch ignition on. So my foot is not on the brake and I'm just gonna hold the ignition down. It's just turned off and I'll turn it back on. So I've got the lights on the dashboard and I hit okay. So press fifth IMO system. It's got the instructions on the X tool. So what you do is you read the IMO key data, you make the dealer keys and then you learn the keys in. So if I hit okay, I'll then go read IMO key data. So I'm going to read the data. It's pulled the chassis number from the vehicle. I'll hit OK. I've turned the ignition on already. And now it's communicating and reading the data. At this point, you often see some warning lights coming up on the dashboard, um, such as a parking brake fault uh, and various other faults. But that's just because it's communicating with the body control module. And there we go, operation is complete. So it's read the IMO data, and this is a 2015 Audi A6. So I'll hit OK. So now I'm just gonna show my IMO data. And as you can see, there was three keys in the car, as in coded originally. I've only got two of them present. The customer said to me that, you know, he doesn't have a third key, hence why he wants a third key, and he's got the chassis number in there. So we've got that, it's read the IMO data successfully. And that's our backup of IMO data. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a dealer key. So if I hit make dealer key, I'll be doing this with the KC100. So I've got my new key, the unprogrammed one, and I'm gonna create, it says on here A6, A7 or A8, and it's got A4, A5 and Q5. This is an A6. Place a key, they're able to start the car in the key programming unit. Right, so this one is one of the original ones, and I'm gonna put that in, and I'm gonna hit okay. It's reading the key. Now place a key into the key program. So this is basically place a new key into the key programming unit, and that's my new key. I'm gonna hit OK. It's creating the key. So this is now making it into a dealer key as if we've bought it from the dealer. And then we'll be able to learn the key in after this. make dealer key success. So now I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so we're gonna learn the keys now. So if I hit learn key, we're gonna put all of the keys in. So we've got three in total. So we've got two customers, two original keys, and obviously one key which, was, uh, which we have, uh, the new one. 
So it says switch ignition on, insert one dealer key into ignition, or make it close to the induction coil. So what I'll do is I'll put all my three keys here first of all, and I'm going to start with the one with the key ring, one of the original keys, and I'm going to put it near the ignition coil, and I'm going to hit start stop. Hold it down, and it's turned the ignition on, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now in the corner, what you'll see is you'll see it come up with L3 because learning three keys and one of three. So that's one of three. And now I'm going to take that key away, put it on the seat, turn the ignition off, put my next key near the ignition coil, and then I'm going to hit start stop again. And as you can see, it says two of three. And I'm going to do the same again. Turn the ignition off. Put that away. Got my third key. So I just turn the ignition off. So the screen goes back in. Now I've got my third key. Turn the ignition on. And as you can see, it now says three of three. So we've got all three keys learned in. And on the screen, it says exit key learning. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure my central locking works fine and clear the fault codes, which is quite important. When you communicate with the BCM, it's better to clear your fault codes afterwards. So first of all, let's see if everything's working. Turn the ignition off. On some of these keyless cars, you have to open and close the door. So the central locking doesn't work on that. I just need to resync it by starting the car. Turn it back off. Working fine now, as you can see, central locking operating. I get my other two keys. I got unlock, lock, unlock. Work, that's my new key, working fine. And I got my other original key, lock and unlock, working fine. So that shows you start to finish how to program. I'm just going to finish the procedure off by clearing the fault codes, which on Xtool Paddly, you just do it in one uh, by pressing one button. It's going to flick my ignition on. So it says clear fault code completed. I can also go in via the uh, diagnosis menu. So I've just come out of this. Hit common diagnosis, Europe. If I go to Audi. Manual selection. Oh, sorry, I don't want manual selection. System selection. Can fast scan. Hit OK. What this does, it scans all the modules that are in the vehicle. And um, and then I can just quickly clear the fault codes. It's just like an easy step. So obviously it's registered some fault codes purely because I've communicated with all the modules. If I hit erase codes, it will just erase everything one by one and get rid of all my fault codes in the vehicle. Obviously, if there are any other faults that were there before, like this brake fault, that will obviously remain. Scroll through. And um, there we go. We're just at the... Uh, it's got quite a few modules in this car being a modern car. So, there we go. Using the X100 Pad Elite and an AutoWave AUT RK0256 keyless key. We've managed to program uh, into an Audi A6 2015. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please uh, drop a comment below and we'll answer you as soon as possible um, and subscribe to our channel. All products are available from autowave.co.uk. Thank you.